And I'm just going to call it SB. Same thing. No units, yeah. So, so the specific gravity is just the density of the receptance, say a GS, divided by the density of dihydrogen monoxide, that harmful substance that we all know about. So, density of H2O, as such, grams per milliliter, uh, divided by grams per milliliter. Those are going to cancel. And we're basically going to be left with whatever the density of the substance was without the units. Okay? So I want you guys to know how to, um, to, to calculate that, um, you know, and, and to, to work with it, um, you know, as much as we really talked about it here. Although you could have like a multiple choice question that asked you a density type question. Okay? Uh, but remember, it would be something that you had seen on that first exam. Isn't our formulas on our white paper? And formulas on the white paper. Remember, uh, study with that white piece of paper um, so you know where everything is so you not waste some time looking for stuff. Okay? Um, so those were kind of some of the big things. Uh, other than what? What was the other big thing about lab one and lab two? Unit conversions. Oh, that's right. We have to, that was yeah. yeah. So big things, unit conversions. And um, you'll note that that first uh, exam, to show your work, um, a little bit of naming, right? A little bit of naming, but then also this. Now remember, guys, the questions are going to be asking for the same information that's given here. I might just change what I'm specifically asking for. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if I have a multiple choice question that talks about a giant squid. That was a good one. I love what I call questions. But anyway, um, you know, it might be, a, a, you know, a smaller giant squid or a larger giant squid, right? But I'm not going to really change what I'm asking for. Just, I just want you guys to show me that you understand how to do the calculations. Uh, very important to be able to do uh, calculations quick on the fly when you think that your patient's life might be in there. You know what I mean? Um, and, yeah. Okay, so, uh, unit conversion. Very important. Uh, so we have like our, our standard units and the metric units. And then there are bridges between the units. And I remember on that first exam, you guys struggled a lot with the, the bridging between units and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to be very important. Um, how about, in the interest of time, let me do um, uh, a couple of the examples on here for the unit conversion, because I'm going to move on. There, there are three. Um, uh, so I can either do one or two. Um, and a couple of naming, or then I can give it maybe like 10 minutes. It's pretty important. Um, but I also want to come here and the topic. Okay? So, but I'm really trying to focus you guys down on that lab portion of the exam so that you guys aren't, we got bigger fish to fry, right? Yes. This is a, a conversation I had with myself over a smoking after. Smoking, uh, quitting smoking for 12 years, I um, looked around and said, uh, yeah, well, shoot, I'll, I'll try one. And then I struggled for two years with having one or two and trying to quit and getting kind of down on myself about not quitting. And then I just realized, you know, in the grand scheme of things, right now in my life, I have bigger fish to try. So if I have some cigarettes, I'm going to get there when I get there. I, mean, I, know, I know I've quit before, I know I can do it again, but <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, I'm not going to get down on myself, but I'm just going to move the heck on and stop, you know, waste a lot of energy. Okay, uh, so giant squid question. Uh, giant squid, 45 meters long, was recently found off the east coast, or off the coast of California. Uh, east coast of California, that'd be really fun. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, that's the San Andreas Fault, right? Uh, okay, how long is the squid in inches? Okay. So we change the meter into yards. 45 meters. Yards and inches. Remember, we're going to write it up like this. It's 45 meters, and there is the question is how do we get that? What, what is that in inches? Okay. Um, 
And so then uh, what we need to figure out is what are our conversions. You guys, um, I remember, struggled with that because uh, the how many meters in a kilometer, I think, on the next question, which I'll do to you, uh, wasn't given specifically on your sheet. Uh, but there was like little conversion things on there. <coughs> so we got it all. We'll walk through it, okay? Um, all right. 45 meters in, or how many inches in 45 meters? Um, so there are actually two ways we can go about it. I'll just show you guys one. Um, the two main things are we can either go to uh, kilometers and use the 1.609 kilometers in one mile. Is that right? I mean, who's got the cheat sheet so I can... I'm pretty sure it's 1.609 kilometers per mile. I'm going to centimeters and centimeters to inches. And then, um, yeah, can we just go to centimeters? And we can go to centimeters. That was the second op option. 2.54 centimeters in an inch. Um, so we want to use 2.54 centimeters per one inch. Um, <clears throat> so, so let's just set it up. Now remember, um, I really want to see you guys do a factor later. It's the best way for you guys to cancel the unit and, you know, make sure that you're getting the right answer. Um, if you show me that setup, I can, if you get everything right, except for you don't calculate it right, I will give you, I mean, I think most of the time I give you all the points, if not only just taking off a half a point. Um, because if you know how to do it, you know, you just bump, you know, bumble put in and you gotta do it. I'm not worried about it, right? Um, I'm not worried about it that much. Okay. For 45 meters, but if you don't show me your work, don't show me your work, I can't give you any points, you know, um, for the attempt, right? Yeah. Okay, so 45 meters um, for every uh, one meter, there are how many uh, centimeters? There are that many. 100. <laughs> Um, and then from there, now we need the bridge. So we can use this bridge in two different ways. Um, in this case, remember, we want to be able to cancel our units. So we're going to want the centimeters what? On the bottom. Bottom. So 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And that's all the question we've asked. So um, we can calculate this really quick. Uh, 4,500 centimeters divided by 2.54 centimeters, um, somebody has a uh, what? That's it is. What? Wouldn't it have been easier to go to from meters to feet to inches? Meters to that's yard. What, I think that's I what I did, is I went yard. from meters feet. to feet. Because I did that and I got the same answer. And then from meters feet to, to inches. Feet. To inches. Um, to inches. So meters to feet. Does not convert. Well, it's not on your cheat sheet. Well, it's one to so three point two eight. Okay. It's really Which is fine. I mean, yeah, if, you, if, if you show me three uh, four meters. If you show me yeah. that, that's fine. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to. Uh, yeah, 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 no worries. Um, run, but yeah, yeah. I mean, if you know another unit, that. and if you put it, that unit in there, and then. Use it because that's what you're used to. That's fine. Uh, uh, you know, as long as you get the same answer, I'll, I'll double check it. I'll look at it and make sure that you know I understand what you've done and how you got the right answer. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with that if it's not um, something standard. The two I'm familiar with: kilometers to miles and uh, inches to centimeters. Those are the two that I use. So those are my go-to. Okay. All right. So uh, did anybody get an answer on this? Um. 1,771, is that what you got? 1771. Would you want us to do the point thingy? Do you want to add in? It says, show your factor list, write your answer in scientific notation, I've added to one slide past the So 1.8 times 10 to the... 3. 3. And uh, I actually remember that that was the answer that I was, I was looking for. And, all right, so I could go from meters to feet to yard to inches. To inches. Why would you go to 
Right? Why would you go to the yard? Well, you could go to the yard if you're being asked to go to the yard. No, but I mean, it's the yard. Vintage. Do you guys know? I had to do it slow way. Real fast, let me bring it back in though. On your cheat sheet, you have the conversions for kilometers to miles. And you can do you know you can do the same thing. So, we use uh, our own cheat sheet. Huh? No. Where we everybody else uses the same cheat sheet, so we use their cheat sheet to them. But you use it all terms, so it's all there, so it's you know it's muscle memory. You know. Yeah, it's like you, uh, you know, never forget how to write like that. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, what do you guys think? Uh, oh, so, let's see here. Um, we got the uh, uh, the next question, or the bonus question. The bonus question was maybe um, a little more than I expected, you guys. Um, I mean, you know, it was a challenging, it was a challenging um, uh, uh, question, and uh, it wasn't worth all that many points. Uh, I say we do the, the uh, nautical mile question because that was, that was, uh, that was pretty brutal. Uh, what? That was brutal. The speaking, the chalkboard. Uh, the chalkboard, the chalkboard speaking is awful. Oh, sorry, it's, uh, I'm going to make you a really big chunk of chalk on 